Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today from UA Shore. Uh, if you guys have gout and suffer from it like I do, which I'm not even going to lie, I had an attack this last week and man, it, it went into the very top part of my foot. Down here you can see right at the very top part of the foot. And then I felt that tingling. So I took me some ibuprofen and I, I went to bed and it kind of went away. And then the next night it started tingling again and uh, started getting red on me. Took some more ibuprofen, went to bed. Then I woke up this morning and I could not walk. When I say I couldn't walk, I could not walk. I couldn't put my socks on. I couldn't hardly get dressed. I couldn't hardly get out of the bed. I finally made it out the door because I've got a walker that I use and uh, too embarrassed to have to go to the doctor with a, a walker. So I hopped to my truck and got my cane that I keep in the, the back seat because the gout had gotten the top part of the foot there, gotten my big toe, and it had gotten in my knee all on the same leg. And I go ahead and tell you, if you ain't never had gout, it is the most painful thing you can imagine. So I got in my truck, went down there, and uh, I got a steroid shot from my doctor. But, uh, you know, I've got, a, I've got a good doctor where I go now. But in the past, uh, every time I'd go to doctors, they'd always want to check my uric acid level. And yeah, I get it. Uh, if you're not adjusting my medication, you know, then there's really no need for them to check your uric acid level. If you, if you know that you've got gout and had gout and you've been to the doctor many times for gout. So, you know, I'd always get mad at them. Nope, you ain't checking my uric acid levels today because I know that it's high and, you know, there's no need in checking them. I know why you guys do this. So you can make a hundred, two hundred, three hundred bucks off my lab work, and I don't like being uh, poked, and, and so, uh, and I don't like waiting around and getting a bill and all this kind of stuff for it. So I, I looked around for a company that uh, come out with a uric acid level checker. So this UA Assure has this meter here, and it's very similar to like checking your blood sugar. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and use it for the very first time together. I've never used this product. I can't tell you if it's good or great or if it's not very good. Stay tuned. We're going to run through it together and I'll see what I find. And and uh, I'm going to run you through and show you some of the things that it comes with. So first things first comes with the box. Inside the box, uh, the main thing you'll notice is it comes with the meter. And, you know, uh, it does not have the battery installed in it. So you'll have to put the battery. You just plop this little piece down right here. It just comes off real easy. And then they give you a little button cell battery. This one here looks like a 2032, so it's a very, very common uh, battery. When you put the battery in, you want the, the plus side facing up. And then you just take your little cover and you just, whoops, I knocked the battery right off of it. You just take your little cover, push down on top of it with your thumb and slide it up. And it's that simple. Now inside the little pouch here, Oh, it's got like a little Velcro area. Comes with your little sticker there and your little lancets or whatever they're called where you pull them back and it's got the little needle to poke you with. Then it comes with a couple of these little chips right here. I'm not sure what they are. Haven't read that far. And then one thing it does come with was is a lot of directions. I mean, here's your quick start guide. Read this first. Lancing device instructions. Control solution instructions. Blood uric acid test strip instructions important <laughs> instructions it comes with a log book and then uh it's got your your user's guide right here the blood uric acid monitoring system and then it says uh, right here on this piece of paper it basically says if you're going to test this against the lab just to see if it's accurate that you need to do it within just a few minutes of of getting your labs uh, tested there at the doctor or whatever and it says you know if you walk to your car or any kind of physical activity can fluctuate the uric acid level so uh, make sure that you if you're going to test it against the one there at the doctor's office that you do it within minutes apart and don't do anything strenuous in between uh, i guess that is pretty important and then you've got this little metallic strip set right here this is uh your uric UA Assure blood uric acid test strip. So they give you five strips, five lancets, little poker machine, 
the little bag oh, and there's some more <laughs> instructions man there is no shortage on instructions now if you want extra stuff you can purchase it uh, through their their website or whatever but there's more strips there's the little lancets and then you've got this solution stuff here and uh you know I'll, I'll get into more of that here in just a minute but it does come with quite a bit of stuff and uh you know we're gonna figure out how to do it together now if all this paperwork uh, seems a little overwhelming they've got this uh, piece of paper here that you know tells you that the test strips are sensitive to temperature they need to be between 39 and 86 degrees and blah 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 and then uh, it says if you have any problems with the meter or feeling frustrated you can contact their their support and helpline and their they guarantee accurate results and this that and the other so you know that is pretty cool if you do have a question because uh it's i'm not gonna lie it's a little overwhelming whenever you pull everything out of the box there's quite a bit of paperwork so i'm gonna go ahead and look through this quick start guide and uh first things first it said to take the meter here flip it over backwards take this little chip right here and just slide this in to the back and it just slides right in i did it one-handed you can see that it goes in just like that all right now it says to take one of these test strips and go ahead and open it up now it did say and so i don't want you guys to get confused that this gray button here on the front this is not the on off button <laughs> so i don't want you guys to get confused and think that's how you turn it on and off because that's that's not it says the way that you turn it on and off is by putting the test strip in there and that turns it on and off. All right, right here in the manual, it says after inserting a fresh test strip, the screen should immediately show the meter's test code. It's important if the screen shows T, the letter T, low or the letter T high, this indicates that the ambient temperature is too low or too high to give an accurate result and the test will need to be performed between 64 degrees and 100 degrees. Verify that the code on the screen matches the code on the test strip package. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. All right. Whenever I put the, the little test strip in right there, the code 6529 pops up. And you look there on the package, you can see right there where my thumb is. You can see it says 6529. So you just want to match that code up to the one there on the screen. So you can see right here that the little blood droplet is blinking and that just lets you know that uh, it's ready for you know your droplet of blood. And I should have went ahead and pulled this off. It does light up pretty bright so I'm pretty happy with the screen on it. it looks like it does a pretty good job. Okay, so the way that your little poker works is you just take and grab a hold of the bottom part firm and then take the top part and twist counterclockwise. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to grab the very top there. You grab the middle of the body right there and you can see that there's a little opening right there and you, what you wanna do is just take your little lancet and fit it down in there and then you just pull your cap off and then you just put the cap back on it. And then you just tighten it up. Now you'll notice right here on the side that it has like a little arrow and what you want to do is you want to grab this uh, plastic clear plastic piece and then you want to turn it and you'll notice whenever you turn it clockwise that it it tightens up and this up here becomes smaller and it says to go ahead and set it on number six and that way it's as deep as it'll go whenever it goes to stick you so if you've got thick skin that it'll it'll come through there now if you don't need it that that much then you could adjust it down to a five i'm sure that'd be fine now i get a little bit of ahead of myself the way that you want to load this thing is you it's spring loaded you just want to pull back on this and then put your your cap back on and then this is the release button right here so you just want to take any old finger i'm going to use this one here get a little bit of blood all right enough blood went in there then now it's flashing. It's almost ready to start telling me a 6.9. Who knows? Who knows if that's right or wrong, but 
I know I went to the doctor this morning and, and uh, I had gout really bad. And uh, she gave me a steroid shot and that was uh, 1.30. That's probably about 9 o'clock at night right now. So, yeah, that's probably about right. So, anyways, uh, I will go ahead and tell you, before you put your blood on there, you want to go ahead and wash your hands and make sure that they're clean and then uh, and then do that. Another tip is make sure you get a big enough uh, puddle of blood so it, it draws it up on that strip because if you get just a teeny tiny little bit of blood, it's not going to read. So, you're going to have to stick yourself again and nobody likes getting stuck and even though this thing doesn't really hurt at all i mean it's not bad i've stuck the same finger three times tonight trying to get it to uh, get enough blood out there on that little test strip you know whenever you go to wash your hands before you put the blood on there like i said you want to make sure that they're clean you could use uh, some alcohol with a cotton swab that would probably be fine it does recommend that you wash them with like dawn soap to get the oils and stuff off your your skin so it don't dilute uh, the blood there and make it an inaccurate readings. So anyways guys, if you're looking for a quick way to check your your uric acid level and you know you're tired of going to the doctor and having them charge you two or three hundred dollars for your blood work and want to keep you there for two or three hours and all that mess, you know this would be a quick way to to uh, test it and what I would recommend is take this in whenever you go next time for your uh, your blood work and check them side by side. Let them te do their test and then you test it uh, with the meter and that'll tell you uh, just how how accurate this thing is. I do have to say right here on that paperwork, I'm pretty happy with all, what all it says. It does say right there that, you know, they've got a website with, with some help um, areas on there. So if you got questions or whatever. And then uh, feeling frustrated, support at UA Ashore shore.com um, and then it says we guarantee accurate results and we will work with you until you are satisfied so that right there says a lot and i've talked to the guy uh, through email so he seems like a pretty nice guy now i'll go ahead and tell you uh, you're supposed to keep these uh, little uric acid test strips in the refrigerator and uh, that way they stay within that temperature range of 39 to 86 degrees anyways now, if you do have a problem with inconsistent readings and stuff, they've got this uh, uric acid control solution that you can put on the, the little test strip or whatever, and uh, it helps get it set back to where it's uh, reading normal again. So you might want to consider picking, picking these up and definitely some extra test strips when you go to order it because you're, you're going to need them. I mean, if you're, you're checking... Uh, every day then you know that's you're, you're gonna run through 25 pretty quick and then these little uh, lancets you know there's 50 in a pack so uh, I would definitely get some of those because you can only use them one time so if you're interested in the product check out UA Shore and I'll put a link to their website down below you know, I've seen these things on Amazon uh, for like $69 uh, I've I've seen them at different prices, so you know, make sure you, you look around. And uh, anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification buzzer so that next time I come out with a new video, you can check it out. And if you got gout, I am truly sorry. People that don't have it don't understand how bad it hurts and what a headache it is and what pure hell us have to go through to uh, deal with this mess. And so anyways, thanks for watching.